I want to get into this Damian Lillard situation with the Portland Trailblazers right now. Let's just everybody take a minute to take a deep breath and calm the hell down. Seriously, this is this has gotten completely out of control, right? You've got Paul George taking shots at Damian Lillard saying that he doesn't care what anybody says. It wasn't a good shot to take. And of course, Damian Lillard said, LOL. Now you've got the future of Russell Westbrook at stake. You've got people saying that it is bigger for Westbrook because of the turmoil now that the Oklahoma City Thunder are in. You've got all these journalists and panelists and people going bananas all trying to dissect who the better player is, whether it's Damian Lillard or Russell Westbrook. You've got people saying that Westbrook and is is overrated and calling him the you know, giving him the typical Westbrook. Then of course you've got people saying that Damian Lillard's the underdog and people have been sleeping on him and he's been fighting for this his whole career. And let's just everybody marinate for a sec because the problem is now it's been dissected so many times that the moment has came, gone, and now it's lost all of its zeal, it's lost its credibility, it's lost its meaning, it's lost its intensity or intensity, pardon me, it's lost its excitement, it's it's lost everything. It, it's lost everything that it meant to the Portland Trailblazers, to Damian Lillard to the city of Portland, to the NBA, because I'm going to tell you something. When these kinds of things happen, they are moments that live forever. They're iconic. They're infamous. They're whatever you want to call them. They are the rare spectacular moments. And I think that we've got so adjusted to it because of social media and because the highlights are thrown in our face of guys like Steph Curry and some of these others that have made all these half court shots and all the daggers that are going on. And, you know, because of everything that's happened, we see it now and it seems like it happens every day when it doesn't. And so what we've tried to do is combat that with this blown out of proportion, side stuff that really holds no bearing on what the real story is. And the real story is the Portland Trailblazers conquered the first round of the series four to one. They dominated the Oklahoma city thunder. They made a phenomenal comeback in that last game. And we have lost what this even means. Remember Early in the season, there were talks of Lillard leaving Portland. He might be going to New York. He might be teaming up with Kevin Durant. He might be done in Portland. He doesn't really want to be there. Remember a couple of years ago before Carmelo went to the Oklahoma City Thunder and there were talks of Damian and C.J. McCollum recruiting Carmelo Anthony, and then without him, what were they going to do? And who was going to be the next guy to fit in there? And they need somebody to take him to the next level. And Dame isn't that guy. And now all of a sudden, Dame is that guy. I mean, we we love and hate these guys all in a moment. And now it's on to the next conversation. And now the next conversation is, well, we'll see what Dame does against Houston or Golden State. or uh, It's just like, come on. Can't we ever just live in the moment anymore? Can't we just say, you know what? That was a hell of a shot, man. That was a hell of a shot. That was a hell of a comeback. Hell of a game. 50 points in that game. Not to mention the game winner. Down by, what was it, 15 points, if I remember correctly. So the issue that I'm taking here is, is that we, we've completely sidetracked from what's really going on. We've got everybody making fun of everybody and nobody's really telling the same story here. And I understand that there's a lot of different ways to dissect this. I get that. You could look at it and go, this was, you know, Dame's moment. You could look at it and go, this was Westbrook's ultimate pitfall. You could look at it and say, this is the end of the Paul George Westbrook era. You could look at it and say, you know, what's going to be, you know, with Billy Donovan, what's his future going to be like now? Was, was it hanging in the balance predicated upon Westbrook's performance in this series? I mean, and, and I get all that. And most of those are fair questions. 
But it has been taken so far out of context now, guys, that there is no real true story here anymore. And the one true story that exists from this is one story and one story only, and that is Damian Lillard playing out of his mind basketball and getting the Blazers to the next step. And what's the next step? The next round of the playoffs. And it's game to game right now, guys. In the NBA playoffs, you have to take it game by game because one moment you're up here and the next moment you're down here. And it's not really hard to get knocked down a couple of pegs. And it's sometimes it's not really hard to be up a couple of pegs. We saw it with the Golden State Warriors, didn't we? When they lost the game in the series, this series that they're in right now, and then the conversations began all of a sudden again with Kevin Durant. Is he going to move on to New York? Has he checked out? And then what does he do? He comes back, he has 38 points. And then, of course, there was the whole thing about uh, Clay Thompson going and taking a dip in the ocean you know, right there in in the Clippers' backyard and hanging out and, you know, re, revitalizing himself, basically, right? So there was that whole little thing, and that was kind of a cool little story. But I just I feel like this whole thing has just gotten out of control. I think we all need to take a moment to step back for a minute and let Dame have his moment with no interruptions because this has gotten seriously too a place that that it, it never needed to exist. It was already here. Why did we try to, you know, just let it be, let it go. Let's see what happens in the next round. Dame, sir, congratulations to you on a hell of an effort. You and the Portland Trailblazers, by the way, out of everything, uh, I, I do want to say Canner probably has the quote when he said, I want to thank the Knicks for releasing me. <laughs> Good grief. Guys, I am Drew Duncan, host of the Full Corp Press. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is all at Drew Duncan 83 Don't forget to use the hashtag, don't you dare touch that dial when you share this post. And as always, don't you dare touch that dial.